Okay then, for this next part, we've got to find the equation then of the tangent to this curve at the point where x is 2. And just to recap very quickly how we're going to go about this, we'll just draw some axes here, some x and y axes. If we've got any curve, okay, let's just suppose we've got some curve coming through like this, okay, and we want to find the equation of a tangent at a particular point on the curve. Let's say a point here. This, remember, would be our tangent. And being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So we need a point on this line. And certainly we do know one of the points because we know the x-coordinate is going to be 2. We need to figure out what the corresponding y-coordinate will be so that we can plug it into here. x1 would be 2. We've got to figure out what y1 would be. And as for m, we can get the gradient of the tangent at this point, x equals 2, by putting x equals 2 into here dy dx, which gives us the gradient, remember, at any point on our curve. OK, so that's just a brief outline. I'm not suggesting that this curve, though, is this one here. It is just to give us an idea of how we might approach the problem. So what we need to do, then, is get m, the gradient, and the corresponding y-coordinate. We can do it in any order we like. Let's just say, though, when x equals 2. Let's go for dy dx. When x equals 2, the gradient dy by dx is going to equal 1 plus 24, then, over 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4. 24 divided by 4 is going to be 6. And the 1 there is going to come out to be 7. So we'd expect a very steep positive gradient. We need to get the y-coordinate here. So we can put when x is 2 back into here. So we can say also y is going to equal 2 plus 3. Let's just put it in the brackets at the moment. And then 2 minus 8 all over the x value underneath, which is 2. OK, work that out, and what you get is minus 15. So, as it turns out, OK, the sketch is not necessarily drawn to any scale, but this point here would be 2 minus 15, OK? So now we're in a position to get the equation of the tangent. So I would introduce the reader to that. I would say, therefore, equation... OK, of tangent, OK, at x equals 2, we only need to define the x-coordinate, at x equals 2 is. So what's it going to be? Well, it's going to have this format, but we just need to substitute our values in. It's going to be y minus y1, which is y minus minus 15, so that's plus 15, equals m, the gradient, so that's going to be the 7 here, bracket x minus x1, x minus 2. Now I did say give an equation for the line, for the tangent, so that would really suffice. But you might want to just expand it out and rearrange it into the form, say, y equals mx plus c. So if you did that, we're therefore going to have y plus 15 equals, and expand out the bracket, you're going to get 7x minus 14. Take 15 from both sides, and you end up with y equaling 7x, and then minus 14 minus 15 is minus 29. All right? And there's your equation of your tangent.